So they're attacking India uh, again for buying Russian oil. Now, again, th think of how, how smart the United States and the West are. They thought, okay, we're going to sanction Russia, and then Russia's economy is going to be destroyed. And, you know, the ruble is, is going to be in tatters. And actually, the, the ruble uh, grew the most this year, and it did, did the best out of all of the currencies. It's at the highest it's been since 2019, 2020. Ridiculous. And now Russia is moving more amounts of oil towards the east than it did before. And India is buying this up at a discount. The Ukrainian foreign minister, look what he says to, to India. He says that every, um, every barrel of Russian oil delivered to India has quote-unquote Ukrainian blood on it. I could tell you, man, I, I saw some of the coverage um, in India. They are really not happy at this crap uh, because... It's completely offensive, you know, and I think the, the foreign minister, the Indian foreign minister, he handled this very well because he was, a, no, I'm not going to say attacked, but challenged about this a few months ago by Liz Truss. Uh, she's the foreign minister in the UK. She might become the prime minister. Um, I want to show you that clip because he really smacked her in the face. Like he left her looking so stupid. Look at this. I think it's very important, though that we respect other countries' decisions about uh, the issues that they face. You know, India is a sovereign nation. I'm not going to tell uh, India what to do. Oh, as, as a British official, just how generous of you, madam. <laughs> just reading a report today that in the month of March, Europe has bought, I think, 15% more oil and gas uh, from Russia than it did the month before. Uh, if you look at the major uh, buyers of oil and gas from Russia, I think you'd find most of them are in Europe. So he, he, he straight up hits, them, hits her with the numbers and, and really shows what hypocrites they are. Remember, the price of oil went up to $120 a barrel and uh, India was getting a discount, I think of 30 to $40. I'm talking about the, the first few months, right, right when the war started. So February 24th and um, into March, into uh, April, into May. India was getting a hell of a discount. Western European countries and the United States want to go lecture India for buying the same oil as them? How does that make any sense? And then on top of it, <laughs> they're shipping Russian oil to New York, to, to the, New the United States via India. They, they just send it to India, and then in India, they, they um, mix it in with something else, right? Uh, so, it's, so chemically speaking, it's not exactly 100% the same as it came, um, came in from Russia. And then they just say, oh, well, this was, this was made in India, and they, <laughs> they send it off. So ba basically, the West is still consuming Russian gas, still consuming Russian oil. And then they have the nerve to lecture India uh, for, for doing the same.